welcome to Microsoft Teams. In this video, we will learn on how the producer can produce a Teams live event. In our previous video, we scheduled a live event called CEO Town Hall, which is visible here in my calendar. I can go ahead and click on this and I have a direct join link as a producer to this live event. If I scroll down here, I can also see the producer live event link here. It is recommended that you do not disclose this link to your attendees. If you hover your mouse here, you'll see that this is the attendee link that I must share. Now let me go ahead and join this live event. So I've joined this link as the producer. And this is the panel that you would get. In the bottom pane, you would get a list of all the presenters that you want to send live. You can see their video and you can see the content that they are really sharing. For this example, I'm just going to start my video and we're going to send that live. At the moment I turn on my video, you can see that I can add content, right? So I want to add this video feed into this live event. So I'm going to select on the top and I'm going to then select the bottom pane, which then allows me to send this content live. So the moment I hit send live, it gives me a preview pane here, which I can then click on start and notice that the current condition here is set to pre live. So that means that this live event is not yet on the moment I hit start you'll notice that it can, it says that it will run for four hours and the attendees will get a 10 to 20 second delay in the stream output. Now, the moment we hit start, you'll notice that this is now live and I can easily send out multiple streams here. So if, if I have multiple presenters who are sharing their video or even a PowerPoint deck from the share window, I can send those live. You can view a list of attendees on the top panel here. This is viewable only to the pr producer. You can also see the questions that have been asked here in the new questions. You can make an announcement as a producer and a presenter as well. Whatever announcements you make will get into the published section. I can choose to respond to questions here uh, via typing or I can speak out loud. And that's about it. An important caveat to note here in live events is that any stream that is sent live by the producer is visible to the attendee after 20 seconds. Also note that the moment you end the live event, you cannot restart it again. So that's typically how you would end the live event. And that's about it. Hope this helps.